What's up everyone, this is Troy at Area 52 with another Friday used gun drop video. These guns are for Friday, September the 1st. They will go out right before close on Thursday. Thank you all for watching. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps us out tremendously. Only announcement is Monday, Labor Day, we will be closed. Everything other than that is normal. Normal hours, 11 to 7, Monday through Friday, 10 to 5 Saturday. Close Monday for Labor Day. That was repetitive, but let's get into it. First, we got an FN 509 Tactical full size threaded barrel optic Streamlight TLR 7A. Got a Diamondback DB9, really budget friendly. Got a Ruger LCP, first gen chambered in 380. We've got a Llama 32, Llama Especial. I think we've had this, we may have acquired it back. Really cool little gun though. Next up, we've got this Taurus Model 941, really budget friendly 22 Magnum revolver, stainless steel. Eight shot, nice setup. Next up, we've got a CZ P07, basically like new condition. Comes with the box, hole nine, really nice. Double and single action on that one. Next up, we've got a Norinco model TU90. As you can tell, it's skeletonized, it's missing its grips. We did order a set of grips for this, so if you acquire it before they get here, they will be yours. The grips are on the way. Really cool setup in 762 by 25 Tokarov. Next, we've got a Bursa Thunder 380. SIG P365 X series, optic ready, Picatinny rail, really good condition, really nice setup. Next up we've got a Ruger Max 9, has the Ruger brand optic which ready dot is called. Next up Got a Bond Arms Texan Derringer. It's a longer barrel, 45 long Colt, 410 Derringer. Texan right there. It says, think twice before you mess with Texas. <laughs> All right, I was almost gonna get this for myself, but I can't after that. And we got his twin right here. I think this is the Grizzly Bear. Also 45 and 410, 45 long Colt and 410. Comes with this holster. Cool thing about the Bond Arms is the barrels are interchangeable for the frame, so you can add a nine millimeter, 357, 38, uh, whatever you want on these frames. It's kind of stupid, but it's one of my favorites of the week. Another Glock Topia a week. We got a Glock 21 Gen 3 Night Sights, Glock 27 Chambered in 40, Glock 17 Gen 5. We got two 19Xs this week again really good condition. Two from last week are gone, so these will replace them. We've got another Glock 17, it's in Gen 3. We've got a Glock 43X, rose gold frame, extremely good condition. Glock 27 Gen 3, it's got the clip holster thing, it's called Technoclip, plus two Glock mag, subcompact 40. And we've got a Glock 30 Gen 3, chambered in 45. Got an MMP compact 40. 2.0, so it's got the aggressive textured grips. MP45 2.0, full size. This is in basically brand new condition. Got a XD45 subcompact, nice concealable 45 on a budget. Got a Ruger 1911, this is a SR1911. It is the lightweight frame, two tone stainless, nice looking 1911. This is a Ruger American chambered in 9mm. Comes with a laser light, it's a green laser. And then right beside it, we got another Ruger American in nine millimeter. Next up, we got a Canic TP9 Elite SC, tungsten color, optic ready. Got a Zigna PX9, imported by SDS. I don't know what PMP property it says. Super budget friendly. We got a Cobra M11, nine millimeter, all metal. Really cool. We've got a Star Modelo Super in 9mm. Fun shooter, set up like a 1911. 
We've got a Smith & Wesson 28-2 Highway Patrolman. We had another one of these last week, I think, with the wood grips. It went immediately. This one has some discoloration. I'm not sure if it just needs to be cleaned. Um, I haven't tried yet. I will after this video. And then three really cool ones this week. Colt Trooper Mark III, chambered in 357 Magnum. This was made in 1980, and it's just about as clean as you could possibly get other than my fingerprints. So nice with the wood grips, the gold inlay. The blue one is just crazy on this thing. Don't expect it to last long. And we've got a Beretta M9A4. Good setup, double and single action with the decocker. Comes with the little ammo can and three mags. And then we've got a Beretta 92 FS, original box, USA made on this one. That does it for the handguns. We're gonna move to the long guns now. Pretty solid week, a lot of variety. Moving on to the long guns, we've got a couple ARs this week. We've got a Smith & Wesson MMP 15 with a Vortex Crossfire on it, three by nine by 40. Chambered in 5.56. We've got a budget-friendly Anderson AM-15 with a SIG Romeo MSR on it. Also chambered in 5.56. Got a Diamondback DB-15 chambered in 300 Blackout with a SIG Romeo 5 and a bipod. And then we've got a Palmetto 300 Blackout uh, some sort of two-tone gray and black. Comes with a clear drum, I believe that's a 50 round. Red dot flip-up sights, and it's a side charger. Next up, we've got a Mosin 762 by 54 r This is a Tula 1939. Good condition. We've got a Savage Basic 22. We've got a Mossberg 464 lever gun chambered in 3030. One of the more budget-friendly options for the cool lever guns. And we've got a Marlin 336, chambered in 3030 as well. Next up, Savage Axis, chambered in 308. Basic setup, ready to go for deer season. We've got a American Tactical Pump 12, budget-friendly home defense. And one of the most non-budget-friendly things that have ever been on this table by far my favorite of the week. If you don't know what this is, it better not be because you're mistaking it for something else because you can't mistake it for anything else. It's a Spice 12, Italian, imported by Franke, 12 gauge, Terminator. The 12 gauge autoloader. That's Italian. You can go pump or auto. Any one of these is ideal for home defense. So, uh, which will it be? All. Oh. Jurassic Park. It's a classic shotgun. It's pump action and semi-auto. It's got the hook, the foldable metal stock, shooting it hurts like absolute hell. And it's probably the cleanest one that I've ever seen. In person, I've only seen three spices in person and I have one of them, so. It will also not be here long at all. It was honestly hard to even keep it around for this video because it's just, it's just one of them things that if you see it, you gotta get it if you can afford it, which Google them, not a lot of people can these days. <laughs> Spice 12, my favorite of the week. Oh yeah, what year was it? 1983, this is a 1983. It does have the rare lever safety. That's gonna do it for this week. Like we said, please like, share, and subscribe. It means a lot to us, helps us out a lot. If you have any questions at all, you can call the shop, 336-350-8080. You can text our online department. The number is in the description below. Check us out on Arms List, Facebook, Instagram, our website. Anything you need, holler at us. We'll take care of it. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week.